This podcast provides a platform that will share many different points of views that should empower you, uplift you, make you want to go out and do right. When you hear the term still a man, say, yes, I am. Still a man. Yes, I am. Still a man. Yes, I am. Let's go. What's up, people? Welcome to another episode of the Still a Man podcast. Tonight's topic, why are women so disrespectful? Who raised them? Okay, I'm going to say that again. One more time for the cheap seats. Uh, why are women so disrespectful? Who raised them? And I want to spotlight the part of the uh, statement where I say, who raised them? And just know, guys, in advance, when I say women, I'm referring to females of, of all ages. I Let me make that clear. So I'm t- we're going to uh, dissect this piece by piece. We got a couple of videos. Well, three of them. Um, and we're going to talk about young um, girls, because you know young girls yeah. eventually become women. The type of women they become, that's based upon the environment, uh, tutelage, you know, that's, you know, and other factors, but it's going to, um, basically, we're going to focus on women at, at, at oh. some points during this conversation. Um, so, women, let's go ahead and say this in advance. If this becomes, and guys, if this becomes too much of a heated topic or oh. sensitive for you, or if you do not um, choose or possess or uh, the level of empathy that you need to be a part of this discussion, just log out, and we'll see you next week. All right, let's get it started. And again, anybody that um joins in late, um just you know let me know, um and we'll bring them into the uh, conversation. All right. So, why are women so disrespectful? And I think. In order to uh, truly understand that, then you have to um, ask the ladies and ask the guys because women, it's important to know that the gentlemen are going to have a different perspective uh, of what they perceive disrespect is as it pertains to a woman. All right, are we clear on this? And let's just go ahead and agree to disagree and let's have a great discussion. All right, I'm gonna go to the gentleman first, ladies, if you permit me to do so. Um, Timmy, what makes a woman um disrespectful? What makes a who? Again, we are talking about why are women so disrespectful? And who raised them? And the first question of the night is, why are women disrespectful? Because what they've seen growing up, they've seen other women be disrespectful, so they be disrespectful. A lot of them today and back when we were coming up, to uh, that was to to show that you you ever take any shit from nobody, you know to to. Let somebody know that I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a woman just as well as you, and you know, I'm, I'm grown. You can't tell me what to do, type of shit. So, are and, you? And, let me correct. Let me, I, let me let me pause you right there for a moment, just so we we we're staying on top. I want to make sure I'm clear about what you're saying. Um, are you saying that um, this disrespect is learned behavior on the um, on the female's part? Yes. Okay. Continue, please. And so I, I I just think that that comes from there, and 
it is progressing into today where they just think it is being disrespectful is the cool thing to do. Mm-hmm. It gets you more likes. It gets you more views and all that. So and the, the whole situation then excel to something different. Like everything in life does, you know, from from when we grew up, things unchanged. You know, from when our parents grew up, things unchanged. And stuff that we were doing, we thought was cool, they didn't think was cool, you know. And probably would say to us, those that, oh, you ain't doing that. We did things back this and this and that, you know. Mm-hmm. So it just progressed okay. every 10 years, then it changes. All right. So I'm going to stop you there. So with Timmy, and we be clear about this, <laughs> Timmy saying this, this, this uh, disrespect uh, is learned behavior. Um, it, it's something that progresses um, uh, throughout time. So um, it was always there. I think that's what, what he's what he stated. Um, okay, so we're gonna take we're gonna go to a female next, and we're going to get their perspective. Patsy, where does this disrespect come from uh, in females? Um, in in what is it? Um, Timmy said it's learned behavior, and said it's something. Is basically passed down from generation to generation. You're a female, so give us some insight. Where do you think this this respect comes from? Excuse me, this disrespect. Like in some sense, it's it may come out as disrespect, but yes, it is a learned behavior. But from my perspective, um, um, a lot of women are. Uh, giving up, giving boundaries. So within me having boundaries for how you approach me, how um anybody, whether it's a man or a woman, mm-hmm. if you approach me the wrong way, I'm gonna come and get you in the the same way, and it'll come out more on a disrespectful. But it's like how um. Most of us was taught treat others how you want to get treated. Mm-hmm. So if I treat you with respect, I want you to re- give me that same respect. Otherwise, I, I, I'm giving you what you gave me. Okay, so so you- it might in turn come out um as disrespect or, you know, it's like... um. Yeah, like I want to be treated the the way you want. I want to be treated the way that I would give treat you with, or anybody else that I'm dealing with. Okay, you so know, you- so if you come at me disrespectful, I, I'm coming back and I'm meeting you the same way you meet me. Okay, so you're saying you know, I'm correct in saying that um you believe it's how uh, people perceive it. You can. If someone's being disrespectful to you, that's what they're getting in return, even if your attention was to be respectful to everybody else um, around you. Um, they some, it's sometimes going to be interpreted as disrespect because of the way the energy they come with. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go to Gregory next. Gregory, um, what is disrespect? Um, who- uh, I agree with Uncle T a little bit. I think it's classic rock and roll. What you see is what you get. Um, learned behavior, definitely. Um, I would like to go further and blame the government because this isn't a coincidence. This is more like hardcore feminists, not not regular feminists, like the ones that pussy or die. You get what I'm saying? And then you got the fact that they wanted to remove the father out the home and turn the mother against the father and then turn the children against the parents. So it's going in according to their playbook. 
So you're saying the origin of this uh, disrespectful behavior comes from because this is a well laid plan. It's, design, it's designed to be this way. It's, okay. it's learned behavior, but it's taught behavior. Okay. Um, let's go to GG Gina. You ready, darling? Gina, go turn your mic on. Sorry about that. No um, okay, you said why is um female so disrespectful? Mm -hmm. And where what's the origin? Where does it come from? Like disrespectful, how? Like to the parents or to adults or well, adults to other adults? Like what do you mean? Let's be clear about it. Let's, so I'm asking you your perspective. Have you noticed uh like a shift that women have become um uh, listening disrespectful or appear to be more disrespectful. Um, both will we'll, yep, um, start out as little girls and then uh, morph into it as um, being disrespectful women. Do you do you notice this? Um, yeah, I guess I. I mean, I guess as far as like when it like teenagers or young girls, they're starting to get more disrespectful earlier. There's a little four year old that grows disrespectful little girl at my son's school but yeah um I think they're starting off a little earlier being disrespectful and I think um the origin will be um parents and who's raising these kids or who's or the lack thereof huh? and, and, and that's that's clear it's concise it's right to the point mm -hmm. um, so see I know y'all know more about this than what y'all let on all right, we're gonna go to uh we're gonna go to Robert next. Robert, what where does this disrespectful behavior come from? Why are women uh seem to be more disrespectful current day? Or is it something that always has been here, as Timmy said? You, know? you have um could you hear me? Yes. Sound like it was an echo. Um you have bad, you have good. Some little girl choose to disregard the good and embrace the bad, and they display it as a trait. Where does it come from? From everything they have seen and heard inside and outside their house, meaning they could have got it from a man being disrespectful, a brother, a sister, a cousin, a grandparent, a mother, a friend, a police officer, a teacher, a doctor, a every kind of body. Okay. Um, so it sounds like to me you're um piggybacking on what Timmy said this learned behavior. I'm not piggybacking on what Timmy said. I said exactly what I said. Yeah. Uh, Tanya, Play you, ready, you ready to share? Talking to me, I'm ready. I said, Tanya, Gregory just I'm, happened yeah, to Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Um, so, same question. Let me present it to you this way, T. Um, basically, why are women so disrespectful? Where does it come from? Okay, let's break it down like this. Um, when it comes to uh, being disrespectful to a parent, you shouldn't be disrespectful to a parent. And a lot of that disrespect to a parent comes from what they see their friends, their, what's happening in their environment with their friends and other people that they're around, what those parents allow their kids to get away with. Um, some people per perceive women as being disrespectful because they know how to articulate their feelings and they don't know how to receive it. Um, they're not they're not at that level as that woman that's articulating her how she deserves to be treated. Um, so they perceive it as being disrespectful or that woman doesn't have the ability to communicate her feelings in a positive manner where someone can receive it. So they 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 speak disrespectfully to a person um as far as um other people treat others the way you want to be treated 
Okay. All right. So Ooh. communicate. So communication. Some people don't know don't know how to communicate themselves in a, in a proper fashion where it could be received. It comes off as of being disrespectful. Yes. Okay. So um. All right. Can I move on to um do? Yes. All right. Uh, do. Okay, so the Most High said, so when, when the Messiah was on the cross, he says, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. You mean, what do you mean they don't know they're killing this guy on the cross? They don't know what they're doing. They don't know the consequences. So the whole the whole fact in the matter is because I, I don't like getting to these discussions because I like to look at it as whole and not, not, not separate. But this is why we have to. This is why they separate us because they knew that we were going to get like this. We were going to get confused and get all like this and all this crazy. But this is a design plan to keep the man down and to keep the woman the way she is so she can run wild and run free and the men can walk around being soft guys and nobody knows what to do. This is where order is. This is why God never breaks his order. Order ha This is what happens when order is broken. So what we're seeing is order being broken. Everybody's out of order. And the point to them is that they don't know that they're out of order. They don't even know how they got out of order. They, some of them, really think this is how it is. This is how I, this is how I was raised. This is how I am, and this is how our people get down. And that's not how our people get down. The way we act in the hood, that's not how we get. That's not our nature. That's not never our nature. You can go back and look in. The, and I'm not even gonna go back to way back in the Bible times, but you can go back in the 50s and 60s before Martin Luther King. Like I said, the only issues we had were with them, but we had strong families, strong neighborhoods, strong schools. We had our own business. We had everything. It's, it, it, it's they designed it this way so they can keep us in, in this slavery loop. And we think we're free and we're not because everything we think and everything we do is about them and for them. Mm. And then that's how they want to keep it, including, and, and it's not even, and, and with the women, they need to be covered. Us men need to cover them. But guess what? The men don't know how to cover. Why? Because they don't know how to take care of themselves. But this is what happens when you have uncovered women. Because I was on YouTube the other day and I saw this girl and I don't know if y'all heard about it. She had sex with like a fucking thousand men in the fucking summer. A thousand men in the summer. The, the, every time a woman lays down and sleeps with somebody, she takes on that spirit and she takes and her DNA changes. She becomes a part of that man. So that means that woman for that summer was a part of a thousand men. Who knows how many men she's been with through that? Exactly. Then you wonder around when, 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 when the Messiah asked the demon who he said, "I am legion." There are many of me. That's what they're walking around at. They, they don't care. They don't have no morals for themselves. But I can't, I can't judge them, and I can't look at them that way. Why? Because I know what made them that way. I know what made them that way. And and the only thing we can do is to get them to see that way by not judging them. And I know it's kind of hard because sometimes we want to we get mad at some knuckleheads and some female, but. This is why order is this is why order is important. Everybody needs to play their role, but we don't know how to play our roles no more because they 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 effed us up. They broke I, us down. The, the devil is out to kill and destroy, and that's what he did to our people. And that's why they that's why they're walking we around. Kill and destroy. destroy. Tell them, Tony. Not just but, um, but, not just not just that out of order. You know, we, we, people got to learn how to forgive and love. They can't even forgive themselves. When you can't forgive yourself, you can't forgive nobody else, and a lot of them can't forgive themselves. All right. The devil. Well said. Um, so, guys, I just, before we move on, I want to make sure, did, so did anybody else join us that did not get a chance to? I think Sean's here, too. All right, Sean, any other, any other women? Yeah, Sean. Uh, and me. Each of my Hello. Life. All right. What's going on, Ethan? And Kian is in the house. All right. We're going to go to Ita first, then Sean, then Kiana. Um, all right. Uh, Ita, same question. Uh, why are women so disrespectful? And uh, where does it come from? As everyone else said, it's a learned behavior. Um, and as um, the gentleman said in the back, um, it has to do with how you're raised. And if you're raised in a God caring home, then you won't, you know what I mean? You won't be an angry woman. And then at times, I'm going to say sometimes, there's angry women because of men not carrying their role. You know what I mean? Um, 
Yeah. And who raised me? My mother. So that's that's so that you 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 finish. I mean, yeah. it, it 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 was brief but brilliant. I can tell you that. Um, all right, we're gonna go to um Sean Sean same question. Um, why are these women so disrespectful, and and where does it come from? Um, until I heard everyone's take. I didn't look at women as being disrespectful. I thought of them as some maybe sticking up for themselves in certain situation, mm -hmm. um, responding to whatever energy is given to them. Um, but now listening to everyone, um, I guess it, it it definitely is, you know, possibly of learned behavior. Um um yeah, that's just pretty much it. I mean just a learned behavior and, and and them I think reacting to to their environment or with whatever's going on with them. Okay. And Patsy touched base on that earlier too. Patsy, that was part of her answer too. She said it's uh, you know, how it was perceived and stuff like that. Um all right, can I move on to Kim? Yeah, but but you, you get a lot of people that would take that out of turn thinking, right. you know, because some people thinking they're sticking up for something, it ain't even nothing to stick up for, right? And mm -hmm. then there's those who, who don't stick up for themselves and, and try to stick up for themselves at the wrong time. So it's really about you expressing yourself the best way as a person, not being someone else, but being yourself. Okay. All right. Chief, same question. Why are women so disrespectful? Where does it come from? I don't feel like women are disrespectful, and I don't know where this topic is coming from. I mean, I think people give this same energy that um, is given to them. And if we're talking about the old versus the new, are we talking about women being disrespectful to a patriarchal system who has kept them down and now that they're speaking up for themselves, they're, they're seen as disrespectful? That be, I don't know. That could be very, very well be where it's stemming from, but go ahead. So, I mean... As a society, we have definitely, <laughs> um, we're not, <laughs> there's a lot of things wrong with society. I don't, I, I think a lot of people are disrespectful in general. So I don't know what, like I said, I, I can't see why women are more disrespectful than men. And I'd like to see the scope of where this is coming from. Stats. That's what you want to see. You want to see stats. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right, all right. Let me. You know what? I, I, I sometimes remain neutral and I don't say anything about it. So I'm going to say this. This is going to be my answer. I think the reason why um, women have become more disrespectful current day. I'm going to say what I um, young women and older women is because. Um, women are failing to respect themselves. Not all women, some women. And the women that are disrespectful um, in nature and, and, and they just don't uh, have a good, um, like, you know, like image, stuff like that. Those are the ones that are plastered all over um, the covers and media okay. and stuff like that and social media Video. and stuff. So, so this disrespectful behavior is what gets um, glorified. So I, I think that's where it stems from. And then, of course, like you said, we have um, certain men, you know, they, they had up certain things. So I think that um, it is uh, organized like where they choose this is how I want women to be uh, seen, depicted. So this is what we're going to um, talk about. Like you said, it's um, to to divide um, them too. But I don't think just the divide 
just the family structure. I think it's to divide the female gender as a whole because then it's not perceived as, notice I said, um, you see you guys, y'all all get categorized all together. It's not a situation where you say, okay, there are women, good women over here and there are bad women over here. You get the situation in where they say, oh, women are this, men are this, women are that, men are that. It's, it's, it's like, it's only a division or um, separation when it comes to uh, color and then um, other, other issues, but we'll get into that later. Um, all right, did everybody get a chance to answer the first question? No, Bird. we got Bird that just joined us. Yes, sir. All right, welcome back, Bird. How you feeling? How you feeling today, Bird? A little better, man. Every day is progress. You sound better. You sound, you sound better. better, too. Right, I could breathe, I could talk. Right. That's Buckle good. Up. That's good. On that being said, let's get your perspective on this. So, my brother, why do you think that women are um, so disrespectful? Where does this come from? I mean, I'm going to I'm going to start with again, I'm I'm a, I'm a true believer of learned behavior. Uh -huh. it, it starts at the very beginning, how they see their mother, their grandmother, their aunts, how they see them behave and treat men is definitely going to carry down to who you become as a person. Uh -huh. And I'm also going to say more women are trying to be the man, which makes them ultimately a masculine product in the situation. So that gives them the open hand. And I don't think many of the older generation are this way, like, you know, Kiana was saying, <laughs> but I can definitely see the younger group of, of women that are coming up in our society are becoming more masculine than, than the men or want to be more masculine. But I'm just kind of blown away. I watched a situation at a gas station and I seen a girl eat this guy up so bad that he was better than me. I, I think I would have had to shut her mouth. I, I wouldn't have been able to take too much more of that shit. So but she, she was going in. She, she was going in. Woo! So she, she was went verbally, hard. She was verbally beating him up. She was verbally beating him up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Better than me. I don't know if I could have took that many. I mean, I would have had to try to get my car and go and fuck getting gas, I guess. I'm leaving because I don't want to have to punch this woman in her face. I would have got in my car and left. But he took he, he took a verbal beating that I don't think I wouldn't have in my right mind would have stayed there to take I would have tried to get out of that, but if there was no getting out of that I ain't a, I ain't a, I ain't an advocate but every now and again people need their mouth shut. Yo, but and then, just you know, hold on, Timmy, I'm finished. Yeah, yeah, I know. You, say, no, yeah. you can't do that. You can't come out your mouth and call somebody out and then you know you get your mouth shut. Oh, you a bitch because you hit a woman. That woman. That ain't a woman's mouth that I've been hearing. I'm hearing a man's mouth. I'm hearing the, oh, motherfucker, with the clapping and shit, the hands all yeah. up in your face. And, you know, that that's that's not that's not feminine. That's not not that's not a feminine behavior. That's not a class behavior. That's not none of that shit. That's you acting straight like a dude or a nigga. Let's see. Excuse my language, but you can't act one way and then make it work for you another way. Oh, I'm a woman. That's not cool. Then act like a woman and talk like a woman. You'll get treated like a woman. Okay, Timmy, so, you, you go on. Uh, me... What I was going to say, Judge Matthew says he asked his, his father how he did with his mother all uh, the years. And he said, he just don't say nothing. He said, because once you, you have a word behind a woman, she's going to continue so if you just don't say nothing and let her argue with her so she get tired and figure you ain't paying attention and go on about the day. I agree. I asked my ex-wife's fucking father the same thing. Like, how do you deal with that? He was like, sometimes you just got to shut up and eventually they'll shut up too. Mm -hmm. The words of advice I got. And they work. It works. Yep. Sometimes, you know, in a relationship even though they keep pushing and picking and following you in the next room and you try not to blah, 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 eventually they will shut up. All so right. you got to wait, out, you gotta wait yeah. out the storm. Hey, I'm going to co-sign that. It sure does work. Just don't say nothing at all. It so does, even when you're right. Even when you're even right. When you're right, no shut doubt. Up. All right, so, so guys, let me let me pause y'all right there. So before we go further, um, so guys, the guys in attendance, do you 
all agree that the best way to deal with a disrespectful woman is to um don't deal with her at all. Yeah, you don't know how to be with nobody yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So exactly. All right. So if you guys are all in agreement on that. So then we go back to what Bird says. This is what I was saying to you ladies earlier. I'm going to bring you back to it. I told you, there's going to be a different definition and perspective of what men perceive disrespect from a woman is. It's not going to amount to what you guys see as uh, disrespect because men view things differently from, um, from women. <coughs> so let me, let me go ahead and ask you ladies this. The woman... That bird um described and uh dude said something earlier about the young lady that had over a thousand sex partners within the summertime. There's only 90 days if we're counting the full month of June, uh, or probably 92, um uh that that accounts for um the, the summer. So if she said exactly. a, a thousand people, that's like what they do every five days. So, so I'm gonna ask you, ladies. Five dudes a day. What are you talking about? Ten dudes right, a day. Right, with five multiple people a day. People a day. Right, exactly. So I'm, I'm gonna ask you. Your man back in there, brother. So I'm like, I'm gonna ask you, ladies, based upon yeah. that. They want to be married in ten years. With birth, there you want go. That. There you go. There. The value you. is gone. And this, and this, you're gonna want a high value man at that. Yes, that's right. right. You're gonna want yeah. a broke yeah. nigga. Yeah. High price for a used vehicle. All right, hold on, her guys. Coochie's all, her coochie's all broke, but she let's, don't want a broke nigga. Let's get these. Let's get I'm the sorry, ladies. I had to say that one. Let's get that perspective. Now, ladies, you guys are hearing this. So, again, Gene, I'm going to go to you first, Gene. Um, how do you feel about that? This woman's out there. Dis do, do you feel like the fact that she slept with 1,000 men, that's, 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 that's what's on record, and she's um, recording this, and, and she's allowing this, this, this um, information to be shared with uh the world uh via social media. Um and then you got this other lady this uh <laughs> verbally abusing this man um in the <coughs> station. Do you think that that is disrespectful um behavior and, and the way we see it because it's unbecoming or um unbefit it's not fitting a woman how a woman is supposed to behave no. first Gina um as far as like the woman, the woman that was that slept with over a thousand, go play with your tablet. Sorry, <laughs> um, the woman that was that slept with um a thousand men. I mean that's gross, but um, I just feel like there's I always gotta look at the other side. There's a man out here. There's men out here that's doing the same thing as her. You know what I mean? And just like whoever said uh, the spirits or whatever and all that kind of stuff, it's it, but it's still nasty. I don't care if you're a female or you're a male. It's disgusting. So, um, it's the best, best. yeah, it's just it's just nasty. So to just say, oh, well, if, if a woman does it, it's 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 nasty. But men can be out here slinging to slinging. You know, D to anybody out here in the street, but they're considered like a manly man because they're up here being a whore. Well, listen, um, let, me, let me let me give you something on that real quick, and I'm sorry. Let's 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 com let's do a small little comparison. Everybody, close your eyes. Think of a glass of water, right? We got a glass of water. So now I'm the guy, which I'm the outside of the glass, right? So now you say I've had a hundred partners. Now that a hundred partners are circling around that glass, right? That glass can be cleaned off. But you got a hundred people's hands inside that water. You going to drink that water still after a hundred hands been in there? You can't listen, clean that water. Okay, let's you take let's take no. So that. with that same that same analogy, let's picture a cucumber and let's start sticking the cucumber in all different types of condiments. Okay, and then try to stick it in the clean glass of water. It's still disgusting, bro. It's disgusting. Um, I normally I told myself I wasn't gonna jump in on stuff like this. Incubus, but, but I, I just want to say this: I'm jumping right back out. That glass and the inside of that glass is all infected. So if a man it got a hundred people licking all around his glass, and without no condom on, there's a hole still. All the drew, the spit goes exactly. inside your penis. 
I don't want exactly. nothing different about a woman's inside that's, her vagina because that's, that's well you're embracing the well inside want, your penis. I'm out. Condom. Even with so a condom. Just, no, just for the one condoms thing, though, inside the safety, that water. Yep, the safety of it for me, though, and it's been scientifically proven, every time a man sleeps with a woman, she takes on another man's DNA. Men don't take on other people's DNA. I'm not saying it's right. Yes, yes they, they do. do. Exactly. If yes, they do. The person is dirty, yes, you can do. take on their DNA, bro. Yes, they do. They do. I don't know. Just you because take you guys think that you're sticking something in a pole, like, yes, He's that is true. With the, with, 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 evil spirit on you. I can't. Um, okay, let's, like, let's, this, I didn't hear what Gina was trying to say. <laughs> Gina, finish what you're saying, Gina. My fault. Just Let like, Gina finish what she was saying. Just like I, I agree with you with um the hole and everything like that and different. Their their DNA is still in female, but so is it for a man. You know, now so man, now, now I, for Gina, for a man, he's su- you're, you're, he's he, he's allowing them to suck the life out of him. You're exactly right about that. He's yeah, but you can slow it. So you still have a hole. You guys still have a hole. It might be a small one, but I don't well, know. No, you if can you... Catch diseases. You know, you're right about the disease. Right. It's all nasty. You know, I agree with you. It's all nasty. I don't care who it is. I'm not sleeping with a thousand. Right. Of them, man. You're absolutely right. It's a, it's nasty right. either but way. There's, there's guys out here doing it. Is that, that my point is? I mean, I'll get. I'm about to. I really right. want to just get to the other the other question. But like, my right. point is, there's guys out here doing the same exact thing. I think what she's doing is disgusting. But hey, that's her life. If she's right. not hurting right. anybody, that's her vagina. So right. you know, to each his own. Um, as right. far as someone in the um the what is it the the gas station or whatever yelling yeah. at a guy, I don't know their situation. I mean, I've cussed someone out. Maybe not. I've cussed someone out before. I don't know if it was um, in public or anything little... like that. But you don't. We don't know the situation that happened prior to her cussing him out. Um, some sometimes you just have to walk away, and that's just with anybody. I just think that's what that's just human natural behavior. You some you see something. You don't you you, you, we, all you we all have that same vortex. You choose fight or not flight. you choose not to engage and you remove yourself. That's it. Yes. That that's the final fight component you in cut life that we all out have. at the gas station for. He didn't know how to change it was the over, time. It was over a parking spot or something. It was over somebody not moving up and letting someone get in and it just went so crazy. I mean, I stayed to watch the whole drama. I'm done pumping yeah, my yeah. gas. Yeah. I was getting wrecked watching that shit. And I was like, man, I'm just saying to myself, man, please just go, man. Just go. Yeah, but I mean, just go. at the end of the day, we don't know. And I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just putting myself in. This. I don't know what the hell that lady went through. She could have lost her child. She could have, she, 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 like she's stuff. Uh, Stuff happens to people. So if you wanna you if you you wanna engage in something that can literally just be wiped off instead of taking instead of getting locked up and going to jail for it, like it's right. it's not that serious. Like, yes, people have bad mouths. I've seen a man cuss a woman out, dog dogged her out, you know, and it's just like it's it's crazy, you know, and it's a little bit entertaining, but at the end of the day, you know, I uh, just choose not to engage. The girl chewed him up. If the yeah. guy was chewing her out, it, no, was it, it would it would have still been in, in, entertaining to me. Let me pause. But again, you, let me pause you for a moment. Let me pause you for a moment, so we can move on to the next um young lady. Um, so let me ask you this, beloved. Uh, so you said that the act is disrespectful to begin with, right? The way we talk about the person that slept with a thousand people. You said that. Yes. Act was disrespectful. Well, I mean, I don't think I wouldn't say I don't I wouldn't say that it was disrespectful. I would say that it's disgusting. I wouldn't call it disrespectful because what if she what if she's a nympho? She likes sex and she just, you know, that's her thing. She clearly doesn't care about what people think about her. All right, so the corner. Get in the corner. She don't care that whole runs deep. Guys, one at a time. He said it's sweet. You know, cause to me, that's trying out for partner. You might as well get paid for you cry, you a cry, thousand, you weep. A thousand men. Can y'all doing... please let people speak? Gregory and Timmy, um, hold up, guys. I just want to get through with Gina so we can move on to the next um woman because they're all waiting patiently. Gina, are you finished? Yes, sir, I am. 
All right, so let's go to Itama next. Itama, the whole part about the lady sleeping with a thousand people within a summer's time, a thousand men, let's be clear about this. And the fact that it was being um, shared on social media and people making videos of it and you know, it's it's being worn like a badge of honor. Do you consider that to be disrespectful behavior? And the second part, where Burr presented the scenario where the young lady was in the um, gas station, just giving the guy the, the business, giving him the lip service, and you know, and say drawing attention because Burr was captivated by what she was saying and doing, and this, uh, it was probably many more. So again, I presented to you, do you think that in each scenario that that um, behavior was disrespectful from the woman? It was, it's sad and it's disrespectful towards herself. Like, you know, yeah. um, it, it, it's very sad because, um, you know, this is what people like to see. And, they, it, and and that's what she's doing. She's putting it on social media and people are egging it on. So in her mind, she's never doing wrong. She's getting paid for it. So she's going to continue doing what she does. This is what the world is putting out. A lot of these behaviors are out here and, and a lot of the behaviors, and they're being praised. Even so, when they get the likes or whatever it is, even, even being washed or entertained or entertaining yourself with these type of um situations this is just this is encouraging this mm. type of um you know for people to continue to do these things as far as the female doing whatever she did in the in at the at the gas station that wasn't okay she was angry i don't like like the young like the young lady said she could have been angry went through whatever she went through that's all fine and dandy we all go through these situations but sometimes we have to level ourselves this is why it's important to always, you know, it's important to have God put God first in your life and put those prayers in and have a clear mind so that you don't get involved and you don't end up doing the things that these people are out here doing. Because believe me, it can happen to people. If your mind ain't clear and you, you're not focused, it can happen. Okay, well said. And she's right. right. They're, they're not only encouraging it, they're promoting it. They got dollars. They're marketing this stuff. They're promoting mm -hmm. this money behind promoting this stuff for a reason. Oh, it's fun. It's fun. Family. Bow, bow, bow. All right, lady. Um, guys, let's get through the rest of the ladies. Uh, Duchess, you with us? She got to turn your mic on. Yeah, I'm still here. All right. Same question. Um, do you think that the behavior of the young lady that slept with a thousand men within the summer and on um, the fact that it was being posted online and, you know, and then the other situation where the lady had a verbal tirade in the uh, gas station, do you think that that was disrespectful um, for a lady? And I, and I want to ask you for your perspective on both um, in both scenarios. All right, I'll talk about the gas station thing first. I knew um, it was. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, I mean, as Gina said, we don't know what happened prior to that meeting of them having the altercation. We don't know what happened in either one of their lives or whatever. So, I mean, was it a, a spectacle? Probably. Disrespectful? Some of the words, that, I mean, most of the words that she said, yes, but there needs to be context. I, I don't know. All uh, right, you're saying that you need to have more background. Yeah. Seldom will we get that, but go ahead. I mean, yeah, yeah you don't get that, but I mean, again, I can't, I mean, I could call it a, a disrespectful maybe situation, but I can't call the woman disrespectful. Okay. So as a whole, it was a disrespectful that. situation that a woman engaged herself in. Correct. Okay. She ain't lying. <laughs> and then the second part, I mean, 
I'm going to go with Gina as well. Men have this, uh, this belief that they're, them not having sex with a lot of people makes them not dirty or whatever. Skin has pores, so it's um, permeous. So you can get anything, and you can not. Um, do I, I mean, she's just, she's disrespectful to herself. Thank you. Go I ahead. personally would never, wouldn't, I, I personally did think, as Gina said, it's actually nasty. But then you have to think about all the men who is willing to go, who, to be number 10, to be number 30, Ugh. 40, 50, Ugh. 60, Ugh. 999. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they was, they was signing up. They was taking numbers like know. the jelly. So I mean, they didn't know. everybody she was keeping in the the She was keeping the count. They didn't know. She pulled the Mad Max on them. It hold said on, 13 and on. she added a one. Hold on, gentlemen. Let her finish. Go ahead. Again, uh, that then, then those are the people who wasn't doing their homework. Because if you was willing to sleep with somebody that you barely knew and you didn't get tested, that's on you. Mm. Number nine hundred and ninety. <laughs> All right, but it's it's clearly that she's getting paid because she posted it on social media. Maybe she so just to be. She probably getting something out of it. That's why she keeping the body count. Maybe, maybe not. But a lot of time, a lot of these times, there is some trauma, childhood trauma there yes, yes, that yes. she's either been abused or uh, touched as a child, or she was didn't have a father and she's looking for love in all the wrong penises. So there's some psychology there for you. All right. And, he and didn't put mean a, to become a serial put a, killer. Put a, put, a, put a pin in that. He didn't mean to catch all them bodies. Right. We move on to Patsy. Patsy, same thing. Uh, how do you feel about the... Uh, she got his staff. Uh, that had... Uh, a thousand lovers or a thousand participants, and then she recorded and posted it. And the gas station scenario where the uh, lady was uh, basically verbally assaulting uh, the man. Well, let's put it like this. I'm gonna ride off around with someone just say, like that and the girl that posted that was having sex with a thousand men, they could have, been, could have been childhood trauma, but then they could have been um, some dude that's a predator. I already had got her into like prostitution and videotaping her already and molded her into that. So like that whole summer that she videotaped, somebody had been videotaping her from the giddy up. And then posted that so it's a manipulation and and is and they probably told her if you don't do this, I'm gonna do A B C and X Y Z. We don't know the whole story behind it. And Dang, she needs more wood for the fire. You sound like a Jamaican. No, no, song. no, no. I'm not saying that. I what I'm saying right is that some do. There's a predator. Um, probably twisted her up, got her mind messed up, mm -hmm. and, and manipulated her with whatever scenario that he did with her, given the fact that maybe her family or this and that, or she didn't have a family, she ran away, or whatever the scenario exactly. was with that. And he manipulated her into doing what he wanted her to do. Okay. Not that she necessarily wanted to do all that um, mess in the first place, but she felt like she had no choice. Yeah, you know, so that's where that. my thinking is okay. with her. Then that gas station thing, uh, we don't know the whole story with that, so she could have been having a bad day and she just took it out on some random person, which happened to be a dude, you know, because she probably thought, like, oh, I'm going to hang you at him. He ain't going to hit me because I'm a woman. Uh -huh. So we don't know what, what the whole true story was. 
Okay. In the first place, you know, before the gas, she pulled up into that gas station and argued with someone over a daggone parking spot, which is ridiculous. Exactly. Most of those she people that have calmed down and went off uh, doing what they're doing, they wouldn't, wouldn't even give a second thought. They would have waited a second. Okay. Yep, so that's yeah, my thought. Yeah, Tanya. she's mad because she didn't get her paycheck. All right, Tanya. Well, we don't know what she mad mad about, Tanya. Tanya. I'm mad. Yeah. All right, same same um two scenarios. Um, you know, the young lady that uh takes her on uh, sexual um endeavors, um, and the uh, gas station uh scenario. Uh, do you think that it was disrespectful on um a new scenario? I think that the gas station situation was a disrespectful situation, like everyone else said. We don't know what the what the prior um situation was, what what the, both parties' mind frame was at. Well, we know what the guy's mind frame was because he just took it. Um, but the woman, um, we don't know what her mind frame was, but it it, it was just if if what Bird said was just about pulling up to get gas and not pulling up far enough. He had nothing to do with whatever she went through. So she could have said what she had to say, but not have to get so disrespectful about it, giving such a verbal beat down. Just ask him, can you pull up a little bit, please, and get her gas. Um, so it was a dis both she was disrespectful to him and and to herself in my opinion. Now with the with the young lady she was disrespectful to herself. Like she, she doesn't know her self worth. And You're not spoken by a true woman, though. You're, you know, every woman that's in here saying that, that's a true adult. And just like every man, the guy should have walked away. That's the response as an adult we should be taking. But when we go past that threshold of adulthood and become somebody we're not, then we get into situations like that. So mm -hmm. everybody with the mature mind will say, yes, you should walk away. I would have left the gas pump and just left because if I didn't, I would have ended up punching that girl. And I ain't nobody that's gonna hit no woman. You gonna slap but a motherfucker. At the end they of the day, you, right. At the you. end of the day, it's that fight or flight that we all have to deal with in life. Mm -hmm. We all deal with that component in our brain that'll tell us when to fight and when to, when to fly. It ain't, mm -hmm. it ain't good to, you know, whatever. Right, if we don't you. utilize that component, then we end up getting in trouble, putting your hands on somebody, and now you're in jail trying to figure some shit out. Tanya, finish. No, um, the woman would slept with a thousand men. Like I said, she had no self worth. Um, that could be a result of childhood trauma, like um, like Kiana said, um, molestation, not having a father figure, not having a, anyone in her in her circle to teach her to have some self worth about herself, and and that kind of behavior is unbecoming of a woman. Um. So yeah, she had no respect for herself, and the whole situation is is just disrespectful and nasty. Okay. Um, and then it, when she's forty five or fifty years old, she's gonna wonder why she ain't got a man. She ain't never getting married. She ain't never gonna have anything later in life. Especially if that video is still circulating. She always got a John. Especially if that video is still circulating. She um, always have a John. Sean, let's get your perspective on both scenarios. Do I need to re rehash the theme? No, um, I'm going to say what everyone else said. You know, the gas station situation, that uh, that was a disrespectful situation. You know, I, I, I did a little bit more context on why she put the hand in the way she did. Um, and as far as the young lady with the, you know, the thousand... Right. With a thousand, you know, men, um, that be that could be just, you know, what what her makeup is like, you know. There is a thing called, you know, nymphos, and, mm. you know, when that cervix is damaged, and you're never having kids again, or never having kids now. <laughs> that hey, thing is jammed up, boy. That you guys keep telling, oh yeah, she's never going to get married again. She's never going to get this again, which is crazy because, 
okay, that may be the case, but uh, like like Timmy says, she's always gonna have a uh 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 what do you call it? A John. A John. She's, she's always yeah. gonna have a John. And there be my, there might be somebody out there that would marry her. Like yeah. what, are we, what, what are we talking about with she these guys with like, these with these community penises? And I, I have a question. They got a warm. The they value. got a, they got a Your value they have is a gone. Warm that can bring that can uh, that can tighten up the chest uh, vagina. They got a warm that does that. You can go to uh 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 gynecology. It's a clinic that actually tightens your fucking butt shit, your asshole, and uh, your Timmy? vagina. Thank you, well, for the so. Thank you for the infomercial. Where you learn that at? Let, let, hey, Ready? I seen the chick on uh, <laughs> Love After Love All uh, Love During Lock After Locker. The hey, chick we ain't got it done. Hey, Timmy. I said, I ain't this a bitch. I can't believe this shit going on out here. Her and her boyfriend that just got out of jail. Uh, Gregory and Timmy, can both of you hear me? I think the answer is yes. So there are other people just waiting to answer the question. Sean, would you finish? I wasn't, but I am. No, please continue. Oh, please continue. I, I, I lost it. Mm. See, so guys, that's why. I'm sorry, doing. sorry, Sean. Um, Robert, Tanya, I heard what you said. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come back to you. Thank you, um, Robert. Mr. Claire Waters entering. What's um? I'm just smiling about all you guys' performance tonight on this platform. Keep up, keep, keep up being who you are because you ain't made a change yet. Can you answer the question? Um, right there, I didn't say that when you was talking. Please, no one tried to come for me. You get them, Patsy. That's right. I'll wait till they stop talking. Anytime, Robert. Now, I'm going to say. For the gas station situation, the man and the woman, and I don't even know the whole story like these videos we're going to watch. Don't know the whole story. So I really don't want to answer that, but I'm going give to you, give you just my opinion. If she asked him to move up, if that was the case or not, and he didn't have enough time he dragged his ass and he wanted it. Um, she started cursing him out. He was being as disrespectful as she was. Because to kill somebody with kindness goes a long way. All he had to do, you know what? I'm not going to entertain this. Let me move out her way. Let her get her gas. And I'll be done with it. But he chose to sit there and drag it out even more and take their abuse so both of them was being disrespectful to each other because he was trying to hurt her mm -hmm. as much as she was trying to hurt him because he could have just moved or left but he chose not to moving on to what do say a thousand men slept with one lady i'm not going to put that weight on that lady i want to ask you do was this a neighborhood situation or just everybody coming from around the world? She'll put it on herself. Huh? This was on one of them podcast shows on YouTube. Okay. So now. She wasn't doing it on there. She was on there talking about it. Yeah, I don't know the background. This was a community laid down situation. But I am going to say this. I'm not going to say she's being disrespectful. I, I, I already know she doesn't recognize her worth. That's why she think by sleeping with people like that is gonna gain us some work, but it isn't. But I'm gonna say this to the men and the the woman. A's don't have no respect on it. So keep doing what you're doing, thinking you're having a good time, pleasing your need and all of this. But a thousand different men put their penis in you. There's 10 or 20 of out that thousand that did not tell you they was infected. Or you might be the one that was infected and you did not tell the thousand men you slept with. Okay. To answer That's your question. That damn to answer before. your question. I was about, about to say, how you know she didn't use a condom? To it was answer, a cool. Every man don't <laughs> use a condom and every woman don't accept a condom. So 
Now we're going to go on to answering this question. No stats cause, is no proven. Cause. Stats is proven that a woman and a man is equally disrespectful, both of them. Okay. Let's pause for right there. So I'm going to say this, and then we're going to move on. Timmy and Gregory, please permit me to uh, um, pass over you guys for that question because you guys was answering, you know, like. That's fine, people. big dope. Um, so I'm going to say this because we got to get to these videos and stuff like that. Um, dude, did I give you a chance? Well, um, dude, I'm going to give you a chance to answer um, the the if you didn't answer the second part, because you right. presented the first story, unless you want to move on. Oh, no, I, just, I, I want I want it to be known that I'm looking at something right here, right? <laughs> Will Chamberlain slept Come with on. over 20,000 fucking women. So she got 19 more yep. guys to get to before she uh, gets his uh, level of That was part of my question about Will Chamberlain. Okay, so so let me say this, guys. We already know because uh, you guys said it's after Johnson had half of that. Can you answer that with ten thousand? So we already know. Again, like I said to you, ladies, earlier, the men are gonna have a different perspective where certain scenarios are concerned. Oh no, I think that's nasty. I, I think it's nasty too, and I'm a guy. I think that's nasty. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. What you have with groupie? Hey guys, it's like rock stars. Can I finish? It's gonna be a different perspective. Uh, I'm saying where the females are concerned, we're not gonna always agree on 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 the same. Yeah, we're not gonna see it um the same way. Uh, because it's always gonna be easily. This is what happens. Well, if a man can do it, I can do it too. See, it's that um that need for equality that makes uh certain women and and hence the word what I said. Certain women disrespect themselves because they have a need to be equal to the man. And they don't know when striving to be equal to the man, you are disrespecting yourself because you already see it as a disrespectful act when the man does it. And when you stoop to set levels, then you too become disrespectful. Let's move on to the first video of the night. Gregory showed the uh, Walmart incident with the young lady. Everybody, please mute your phones and hold your commentary until. Can you say the video again? It, your phone started sounding funny. <laughs> Show the video of the little girl. Participants, what for in 12 right for in? I come to Walmart and I'm in Lewisburg. It is always something popping off. Now, I don't know what's wrong with. Oh my God! No, she need her ass whooped because I don't know if it's that her grandma. But y'all, let me tell you something. I would take that little girl by her neck. What in the world is she got to be on some medicine? It got to be something wrong with her. Yo, do you see this? Uh, she made this mess, y'all, and they standing there letting her do it. And her grandma gonna have to pay for this. This girl is crazy. But y'all see this? Oh my God! The last time I on here, a damn car came through the through the door, and now this little girl in here tearing up. And her grandparents let her do it. I would not hurt the boy. Oh my God, y'all. Baby, give me the permission. Give me the permission. Give me the permission, baby, honey. I would knock that purple shirt off her. You heard me? Oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all better get. Y'all would have. Who do she belong to? But oh, no, 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 darling. Oh, my God. Oh, 
Where is her parent, y'all? Y'all better get the authorities out here, boy. I would beat the board. Zoom meeting. All right. Um, let's, uh, okay. And let's do this one at a time. Huh. Eatsum, are you still with us? That turn you I on am. Yeah, I All am. Right. Okay. In that scenario, what? Again, it, it was it was it was disrespectful. Um, again, where did, that, where did that level of disrespect come from? Now, this is a little girl. Now, I'm gonna go back to what I said earlier. You see, that was a young girl, and then it morphs to a disrespectful woman. So again, um. Break this, dissect that um that that video for me. Um, where 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 was the level of disrespect? Okay, uh, Daddy, please be quiet. Like, that was hey, very very that. disrespectful. Go ahead. Um, yeah, just the the little girl was he was definitely out of line, like completely out of line. Um, but this is something that they, they let her do, obviously. Um, she ain't, this is not, that's, that don't look like it's the first time that it's happened. She don't put fear in her grandmother's heart. Like, you see how the grandmother kept backing up. Mm. The grandmother has no hold of her. You know what I mean? They, there's no, they don't put respect in her. So, yeah, it starts from the home. If they don't grab a hold and put respect in a child, then that's how they're going to behave. So that's, that's their fault. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Who was the first person to respond to that that little girl's behavior? Was that a man or a woman that said something? That was a woman. Stop. A woman. woman. Of course. Okay. If I was there, I would have responded too. But I wouldn't have responded by recording. I would have uh -huh. tried to get closer to the little girl and speak to her, but speak to her with love, but you know, in a, in 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 a um in a strict manner. Only just because I see that her grandmother don't have a hold of it, and she shouldn't be disrespecting her grandmother like that. It, it, it you know, it takes a village to raise a child. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm a mother. I don't like nobody correcting my kids. You know, but but I'd appreciate if my child is out of line and they're in the streets and and they're out of line and somebody puts checks them in. I would definitely appreciate it as a mother. You know, because sometimes. Um, I, I, you know, you could teach your child one thing at home and they do another, you know, behind mm -hmm. your back. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Well said. Patsy. Bird. All right, Bird. Go ahead, Bird. I mean, it's obvious this little girl has some chemical imbalance that she just has no control that they haven't found out yet or diagnosed for somebody to behave like that. There's obviously bigger than what you're seeing. But then again, like you said, that comes from your upbringing. Maybe you saw her mom mm -hmm. disrespecting a grandmother like that, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. seeing her mom being exactly. behaving a certain way, or so everything we do in life is learned. We don't just do things to do them; we've learned how to do things. Mm -hmm. So this little girl is obviously mentally unstable. That they should be getting some kind of help for, but I, I, I think I, overall, if my kid would have got hands on. See, I'm going to tell you something right there, B, before I go on to the next person. I don't know if I would say that's mental. I say that's behavioral because I'm going to tell you why. That little girl has... So your behavior is dictated by your mentality. Yes, you think so, a yes, It way. is a behavior, but that behavior is warranted by the way her mind is processing information. You if she couldn't get a toy or she didn't get what she wanted, this is the method yeah. she takes to get it. You are absolutely so right. Her mind is telling her her body and everything else, what to do. you absolutely right. There's an imbalance somewhere, attitude, chemically, attitude, something. Attitude equals aptitude because you think a certain way, you behave a certain way. So this little girl has learned that I can talk yes. to my grandmother a certain way and there are no consequences for my behavior. Yes. I can curse her. 
I can do whatever yeah. I want and no one is going to challenge me. So again, I will say this again, disrespectful child becomes a disrespectful adult. And if you don't nip that in the bud, then she will grow from being a disrespectful little girl to a disrespectful woman. Uh, let's go on to the next woman. Uh, Patsy, how you feel about that video and that, and that everybody's behavior in that video? Um, I'm, it is very frustrating that they didn't respond in an appropriate thing. I kind of agree with Bird. It could be a, a mental disability, but I also agree with David. Um, when it comes, it does not matter if that child has a specific type of disability because I'm going to reflect on how my mother raised us because I've had a learning disability. We've been around other kids that have different scenario disabilities. And my mother did correct some people, like some of the kids was like, and, and she always reflected back at us too. Just because you have a disability does not mean that you have an excuse to misbehave. And she always corrected us on things as we needed. And most of you guys knew my mother and you knew how she corrected, not just us, but other other kids, whether it was at camp or at, at the school when um, she can showed up at school or in other situations where she had to correct somebody. And, and I remember one time we got on the bus to go someplace and she had neighborhood kids. And she was like, if I got to correct you and I'll give you a what for while we're out, you will not come with me again. So therefore, it's not to say like the parents are going to be abusive or whoever she was with is going to be abusive towards her, mm -hmm. this child. But it's to discipline the child appropriately when she does act up at the moment and discipline her for that. Whether you're going to give her a warning and say, you know, you when we get home, I'm going to give you an ass whooping. And if you give her a po you bet you want to call the popo? You better tell them behind why you, why I, I beat you behind. Not yeah. just I beat you, but why I did it. So cause and effect. Exactly. Got it, got it, got it. All right, let's go on to, uh, let's go to G, Gregory. Um, I didn't like it. I didn't like her parents. I didn't like the way she was treating the grandmother. You can tell that the grandmother looked like she's not on her foot, like she she's not on her good foot, like she used to be. And that little kid learned that from her mother, or she's just a young sociopath. This girl was in the store destroying other people's property. You don't learn that at a young age. Then something is wrong. And then her hair was all messed up. <laughs> it looked rough. It looked it looked like a whole rough embarrassment to black people. <laughs> All right, Gina. Yeah. Um, I seen that. I seen that video before. That was a, that's a um, an older video. But mm -hmm. when I seen it then, and I seen it now, I think, I think the first thing that comes to my mind is going across her mother effing head. But then I look at the video and I see the older woman. That could be a foster mother. This kid could be in this, have been in the system all her life. From home exactly. to home to home to different home to different home. You know, and that, from that result, I can see why she acts like that. She has no structure. She has no discipline. And mm -hmm. she's not going to respect anybody because she's been bounced from 50 homes all her life. So I think that she needs to be, um, I mean, I think she would need to be sanctioned to be on to, I mean, cause she's not even, she's not even a regular child. She's a, she's, she's a property of the state. So she's just, she's just a, a, 
I mean, it's, it sucks to say, but she she she's a she's a system baby, and usually mm-hmm. system babies act like that. <laughs> I've seen it, you know, and um, it's it's a sucky it's a sucky situation. I feel for the child, and I feel for the um the older woman because I'm thinking like older woman back in the day, my grandmother had foster kids and stuff, so um, she just don't have no control over her. You know what I'm saying? And some people just might see her as a check. And send her right back to the system and say, I can't deal with her. And she again, she's she's passed on to someone else. So, I mean, I, at first I just wanted to punch that little girl in her face. I would have approached her if I was at Walmart, um, like um someone else said, um, and try to talk to her, you know. But when someone's doing when a little when a child is doing that and she's just outwardly disrespectful to the person that she's with, and she ain't gonna look, she ain't gonna respect me. You know, but I will try because that's just who the type of person that I am. But yeah, it's sad. It's uh-huh. a sad situation. Uh, Robert, how'd you feel about the video and everybody's behavior? Gina, how old did that little girl look to you? Um, she looked like uh, yeah, like ten. I would say maybe eleven. Yeah. Ten, yeah. Okay, all right. So I'm going to go on and say this. Um, I never did it like that type of behavior. And I'm probably one of the only parents that will do certain things that I have done. And some people call it a little bit too strict or mean. No. Um, <laughs> m- my daughter, um, outbursts like that, that age, going from the courts to the schools to the whatever. And, and say even if she's a foster kid. And I would have been someone in the store or a parent myself. I don't care if I'm just an innocent bystander looking from the outside in or me being related or being a parent. I would do. I would have done the same thing I have done to my daughter at that age. I actually, I actually called the best team. The best team will come and get you. You want out like you're crazy. You're going to get a psych evaluation. You will yeah. go up. You will go up on the psych floor and stay for uh, uh, 30 days if they find you um in need of that type of service. Um, I actually had her taken when they brought her to a mother's house and said, oh, we can't do nothing for her. We got to wait to courts and all that shit. I said, I'm not leaving this MF home till you put my daughter in handcuffs and take her to jail. I want her in a program for 30 days. I don't yeah. care how it seemed as I a agree. parent. But I'm gonna save her fucking life before the streets take her or someone else, someone else that can't understand or don't want to give a chance to understand it and take her life. So I would have did the same thing for that little girl. I would have been like, oh my lord, I'm calling the best team right now. You breaking up stuff in the store, your 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 foster care or your your biological family parents don't have no control. Well, I'm gonna get you the help that you properly need. So, with Ken, Ken, is it safe to say that you perceive that that behavior um, is uh, unacceptable, disrespectful? Is as 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 unacceptable, and they need to stop it or try to stop it every time she get going because it's only going to get worse. Right. Discipline. Discipline. All right. Let's get uh, Kiana in on this. Kiana. How do you feel about the video and all the participants? Gotta turn your mic on, Duchess. Yeah, I was outside, so I didn't see the video. So I can't I can't right, comment on you. it. We're gonna give you a quick overview. Little girl goes to Walmart, destroys stuff, she turns into uh Terrible Taz, Tasmanian devil. She's throwing stuff down. She's calling her grandmother about her name. She called her a bitch. She told her she need her ass whoop. She told her she need her ass whoop. Um, take it from there. I know how you think. Go ahead, give it to us. <laughs> I see this with my own eyes, or I see this on video. I painted you this picture, and you now you know you was there mm-hmm. in the store, and you you viewed this. What would you have done? Oh hell no! Who the fuck's kid is this? Like. Somebody get this kid in order, or I'm gonna have like no. I I would be like what I would feel like I would be searching for a camera because there has to be a camera on here because this is some ridiculous bullshit, um, going on in this place. Um, 
I might just have to walk away because I, I might go to jail. So, hmm. so you think ridiculous. Way, so you think the only way to correct that behavior is to do what? Get uh, up close and personal? First of all, she needed to be snatched up. There ain't no way you're going up in here destroying um thousands of dollars worth of um inventory that I'm going to have to pay for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you very and much. And then you got the nerve to not have a pot to piss in or it or a window to throw it out of and talking to me crazy. <laughs> they got places for kids like that. What are they? Not my house. Um <laughs> <we all. laughs> institutions or hospitals. Mm -hmm. She would have been in a hospital. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way. I'd have told them that she's crazy. She need to be strapped down for 48 hours. She done lost her mind. All right. Uh, Timmy, same scenario. You saw it. Um, do you think the behavior was disrespectful? And who was disrespectful in the video? Ralph, the little girl was way out of line. We know if that was Back in the day, if she would have got her ass whipped. You would have went into the bathroom and got your pants took you down and got the shit beat out of you. Then, then you would have went out there and you wouldn't have been carrying on like she was. And 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 first and foremost, if you if you did it once, you damn sure ain't coming back in the store with it another time when they go to the store. Because you won't be going with it. That was a privilege to go in, into the store with your parents, watch what they get and what they're buying for you and, and the, the different foods. That, that was a privilege, you know, to go in the store. Mm -hmm. Then when you act out, you couldn't go in the store with them, you know, or if you had to sit in the car. So would you say that young lady's behavior was disrespectful? It was all the way, all the way. That's why she would have got cooking in the bathroom. Got okay. her ass whipped. She right. would have definitely got her ass whipped. Uh -huh. All right. Uh let's move on. See, Tanya? Yeah. Um, who was disrespectful in that um in that in that video? The little girl was definitely disrespectful, but when I look at that video, I see a mother whose child was, who's, who, I see a mother who is trying to take care of her child's child because she was out there using drugs while she was pregnant with her. And now she um, she's back on the street and the grandmother is trying to raise the child and take care of her. And you can see that the mother's back on the street or she's either locked up and the grandmother is elder is up in age and so she's trying to do her best to raise this child because it's her granddaughter and she don't want her in the system she don't want her in the system thank you timmy and she's not being able to keep up with keeping her hair done and the behavior the little girl has behavioral issues as a result of being, like Bird said, chemically imbalanced from the drug users. Because I didn't see, this is a story that I've seen over and over and over again in the hood. Um, with problem children and, and, and her having, uh, being unhappy with her mother not being there. And she have to deal with her grandmother. And the grandmother don't know how to, don't know how to take care of her. She's trying her best. You know, you can see that she might be on a fixed income and in, in whatever neighborhood they in, they're not getting the proper medical attention. So there's a whole story with that. So the disrespectful overall. Yes, on all, all right. levels. Okay. Uh do let's get your point of view. Now turn your mic on. All right. well, oh, my back, Dave. Right, my back. I'm here. I'm here. All right. Yeah. Nope. Say that question again. Same. Um. How was your perspective on that video? Oh, on 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 the video. When 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 I look at it, when I look at that child, I look at a child like like Gina said earlier. That child is unloved. 
has no structure. You can tell she's been in and out of homes. And the person that's with her is probably, probably is her grandmother or the foster mother. But that ain't the only place she's been in. And with her being unstable like that, that's how they act. That's how most of the children in that situation act, period. So, that, so you're saying unfortunately, that she act, it's unfortunately, she acts the way she did. It's unfortunately, she did all that. Yes, it was wrong and it looked disrespectful. But she, the child feels unloved and she feels... She, she's going through a lot of stuff. Do you think it's a cry for help? It, 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 it's a cry for attention because she don't get that because she's shuffled mm -hmm. around. Okay. She, and when she does get attention from somewhere, then she's moved somewhere else. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, and acting that way is not going to keep her in a place too long until she finds someone that can understand her and that really can relate to her. Mm hmm all right, well said. I, I like I like the way you guys assess me um, of, of this situation. Sean. Yes, um to be honest with you, the whole video disturbed me even the way that I had to watch it, meaning listening to the lady who was recording the Thank whole you. thing. Thank right, you. Right. Right. Yeah. But um back to the actual issue at hand. Um I, I, I can jump on the same scenario that everybody else is, is uh, the same conclusion that everybody else came down to. Like, is, is the young child, is she in the system or is that, you know, her grandmother legal guardian to where, you know, she acts like this for attention or is there, as Bird said, something like, you know, chemically imbalanced in her to where they haven't figured out um what's wrong with her because the grandmother was offering no suggestion on what anyone should even try to do mm -hmm. you um, she say you know um you know you guys calm down you know she had this a pass or you know like if they knew if something was wrong with her she would have said something i i assume mm -hmm. but so. you know oh, i'm sorry sean Go ahead. Well, I was going to say that you could see that the way that the grandmother reacted, it wasn't something new. Right. It definitely was nothing new. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, what I was saying to that is, have, have this child been diagnosed with anything to where... That child's in like the system. That child is diagnosed. Like, say that again? That child, everybody's coming up with the scenario that this child's been in the system and bounced around. That's been diagnosed. If you're going right. to go to that level, then that's absolutely that kid's been diagnosed with something. Mm -hmm. But right. if you go to that kid has something, it's not just the behavior. There's a mental illness that causes people to become so aggressive. And right. in the mental health field and any other field that everybody else has experienced, we all can see that this kid is mentally not right. Mm -hmm. that's and, not normal and, behavior so if you're not normal yeah. behavior then you're obviously imbalanced somewhere mm -hmm. that and physical that's, that's the conclusion <laughs> that we come to but what I'm saying to that is because I was speaking to the video to where with the grandmother in situations like that if the grandmother is aware of like and like you said but if you know she's being diagnosed and the other the grandmother is not offering help anyone help. to help her so she didn't say anything Exactly. But so I also see that she was scared of her. Sorry, Sean. She I needed just, help. She needed you know, the people. It looked, Somebody it looked like her. she was scared of her. Yeah. Yeah. That's she definitely was scared of her. But this is what happens when you remove Ashworth. We're coming up yep, with Gregory, all you're right. Timmy, of everything Timmy. to where that the persons that are responsible for her. If they was to speak it like, yeah, I understand she's scared, but you got to speak up so that you see that people are coming to your aid. Help them help you by yeah. letting them know how to respond mm -hmm. or what you may need, mm -hmm. as opposed to just freezing up and just running from this child. Mm -hmm. Do they know why she was doing that? And um, that's what I'm saying. That they, they showed the video. Did she not get a candy bar? She didn't get a toy, a dog? No. It just Anything happened in that in store that caused yard. her to go off. It just started off with with her with plants on the ground and her circling the grandma. Yeah. All I know is my son acted up in the store. He has embarrassed me. 
My son has embarrassed me. He's he's had a fit in the store, and over candy, I, over anything. It doesn't even matter because somebody couldn't didn't say hi back to him. Like you know, but that was like when he was around two. Um, he's four now, so he knows. I just give him one look. He act like that. He already knows the deal, you know. But again, some kids will just try you and test you to see how yes. far they can go. Yes. But and what came, that was to what you just yeah, said, Gina. What came before the look? Because did the look? Uh, what does the look mean? The, the look. The look, look means something. Right. Okay. So the so what came before the look? This um, right. I would just say. I'll just say we went out in that parking lot and it was and it was enough. And there you go. Oh, and, that's, and so <laughs> it wasn't it. just the look. There was it's something. The and, and you know, that's traditionally how we handle things, right? But now yeah. you're talking. This is a kid that beating them is never going to be the answer. Yeah. Again, there's something going on chemically that's causing this kid. So you can beat them a hundred times and they're still going to behave this way. I, I think it's not, uh, you know, I, certain people. I think he, got that, I know, he got that. I know, he got that. He got that right the first I time, think, and he knew better after that. I think what if she acts like an angel in front of her mother and then does that in front of the grandma? I know relatives that was like that. Um, there ain't, ain't, no ain't no way. There ain't no way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This was an adolescent, so I don't know why she know how to act. I don't know why she saw candy. Went crazy. Candy. I right. want candy. They couldn't have it. Then they stopped rolling in the floor. Get your out there. Now. I'm going to push your ass and shit. You're not going in the store. You're you going in the jail. Car, uh, driving listen. the car. She said, I'm telling daddy. How? But the sucky she part about it is that. you can't even discipline your child. Well, I'm not going to say beat your child, but you if I want like to snatch Discipline. Yeah, discipline. If I want to snatch my kid, if my, if my son, <laughs> my mother used to pinch us, if my son was r rolling on the ground at Marshall's and I'm trying to tell him to get up and I've been talking to him 15 times and he's still not listening, running around, I'm literally having to physically chase this boy and I snatch him up. Oh, Lord, Jesus. <laughs> it happened. This is a real yeah. situation. <laughs> Let me pause y'all. All right, Robert. Was hiding underneath the clothes rack had our mother looked for him in the goddamn store. My so, kids used to do that shit. True story, real quick. My kids used to do that shit, right? So if you're at home, you pop your kid, they just say, oh, and they keep it moving. When you pinch them out, when you get them in the store and you pinch that kid, they're like, ah! Ah, oh, yo, act like you killed you him. Pinch <laughs> it. Yeah, you pinch him! You motherfucker! You don't do that shit at home. You get out of public and show your motherfucking ass off. get it after that. All right, yep. so let me let me say this. We got two more videos, guys. Y'all, let's just hold it together. Um, Gregory, you want a chance to what well, you did was go ahead, but you, you want a chance to respond on the video? No, I did respond on the video already, right. big dog. All right, so um let's go to the video where the mother smacked the daughter. All right, guys, mute your phones. I'm telling you right now, this is a very distasteful situation. So get ready. Go on, something to repeat. Come on, try it, bitch. Try it. 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 Try you want to get out here in front of these little boys and get hard? You want to get out here in front of these little boys and get hard? Damn. Get up, up, up. Come on. Try it, bitch. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. That's a small nine fool, you bitch. I'll knock your ass out. Maya. Oh, she said something. Get up on my motherfucking car like that. Don't open my door like that, bro. Bitch, I will drag you from this motherfucking car. Come here. I will drag you from this motherfucking car. Right now, before we get in here, I'm going to need you to motherfucking bring that shit down three knocks and humble your motherfucking self. Real quick. So I'll hold you down and let her stomp your ass out. Because you too fucking grown. You a punk ass 12 years old. Bitch, you what he supposed to be up here. 
Yeah. Yo, this is what you was looking for. Now you got that embarrassment that you need. Stay your bitch ass yeah. in the house like I told you. Get in the car, my lady. Stop right here. Everybody, stop. Ladies, I'm going to let you spar in second. I'm going to let go to the guys first. I'm going to present this to you guys as this. Sean, you seen the video. Let's just, mm -hmm. I want you to put yourself in a situation. If you <coughs> a video of your, any of your baby's mamas um, interacting with your daughters like that, I, I don't, do you think that that behavior was disrespectful? And who was disrespectful in that situation? Um, they were both disrespectful because you're out here in these streets rep representing us as a family. Mm -hmm. And the way she handled that, I'm grateful that I don't have DMs like that. Mm -hmm. And that my kids don't react like that. But they would both be at fault in my eyes. Mm -hmm. And that would be a whole nother story once we all got behind closed doors on how we're going to handle this moving forward. But that whole scenario was pretty jacked up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Timmy, who was disrespectful in that situation? Uh, I, I didn't see no. I just seen an angry woman telling the 12 year old putting her back in her place. Maybe she told you, you heard that she told her not to come up there and she did it anyway. This is probably listening to her stupid ass friend, you know, get her in trouble, you know, by because they don't listen to their parents. And, you know, she went and did what her friend wanted her to do instead of doing what her mother told her to do. And so the mother had to show her and embarrass her in front of everybody. And she bought that on herself. She should have listened to what her mother told her to do, not going against her her mother's wishes. That's okay. on her. Stand on that. Stand on that. Uh, do, same question. Um, who was disrespectful in that situation? Well, it's kind of uh, if if the mother went out there for a child for being fast ass because she was out there chasing them boys at twelve years old, yeah, I probably would have been the same way. But I wouldn't have been calling her a bitch and shit like that because it's, she's twelve years old and it's my daughter. And I, if if a woman calls another woman that arguing, like if that was my girl or my wife yelling at my daughter like that. I would have to go with that if she's being disrespectful and out there trying to be fast. But me, myself, being a guy, I couldn't approach it that way because even though it's my child, it seems different. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I would have approached it. Being a guy, I would have approached it differently. Mm -hmm. But I can understand why the mother approached it that different because she she's almost a reflection of her. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you're not going to be fast out in these streets. Now, listen, I know what they can do. I've been there, seen that. No, oh, no. If you want to be fast, I'm going to embarrass you in front of all these little fast ass boys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, okay. Um, Gregory? Uh, once again, I think this video is an embarrassment to black people. And it, edge, it edges towards the name of this topic who raised you. So when you're looking <laughs> at the, the situation, and you hear the mother talking to the daughter like that. This isn't something she does just because of she was hanging out with boys. She talks to this little girl like this all the time. And she's wondering why her daughter is acting the way she's acting. Because basically, the, she didn't, first of all, you brought all the little kids. There's a car <laughs> full of kids. <laughs> There's right. a call full of kids. This girl trying to get in the She's car. trying to show this them is, before they see this is not, She don't want to get slapped up by her mom Duke in front of everybody. This is, and you see who raised her. So she had no choice but to fight. Her mother's a fighter. Hmm. But, uh, okay. Uh, Bert, who was disrespectful in this situation? Well, you know, I think both parties, a little girl out there acting fast, disrespecting herself. I mean, again, I, I'm not an advocate, but we need parents that can step up like that and let you know. I'm going to let you know through force. You think this is the first time it happened? I'm sure she's going through it with this little girl. 
these kids nowadays are a whole different breed of what we were as kids and the level of talk back and rolling your eyes and all of that shit. You roll your eyes and shit pound when we were kids, you might get a black eye. You suck your teeth, you might be holding your mouth for a few minutes because that shit hurt. These kids now, they call any mother bitches and, you know, like you say, you can't just beat your kids. I get it. But, you know, I maybe there's no man around to let this girl know her value as a young lady and what she should be expected to behave in a certain way. And so there's many components to this, but I think some parents we need like that, that are going to put their foot down on these kids next if they get out of line and not listen. This ain't the first round at the rodeo she went through with this little girl being fast. Mm-hmm. This is what it is. These little girls out here, you know, being influenced, let's say. I mean, she don't have to call her a hoe or a be fast. bitch. That's what she called her. Okay. I get it. I get that's not the way. But I also could have been dealt with different. Sure. But do we need more parents that are invested in their kid? Like Rob said, she's out there trying to save this little girl's life because no one or not, this little girl going to be pregnant at 13. If she probably already ain't having sex right now, who knows what's going on with these days and days of these kids? And you got these molesters out here, nineteen-year-old dude trying to bust down this little twelve-year-old girl. Right, right. So I mean, if she's trying she, to save her life. Maybe that's not the best way. And she's talking to her heart like she's someone off the street, not her daughter. You know, so Which, she's like, you, you want to be out here on the street. I'm gonna talk to you like this. Somebody you think she ain't got to that point already? She ain't had those conversations before it got to this extreme where she's squaring up. Um, like, do something. I'm gonna beat your ass out here. You want to be grown? I'm gonna show you. One of us is gonna walk away here grown. All right, so me. yeah, sometimes you need that tough love. All right, stand on that. Let's go to Robert. Robert, who was disrespectful in this situation? Claire's my water can drip. I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to ask this question. Was the little girl dressed like a whore? Yeah. This answer, had, yes or no? She was dressed like yeah. a dyke. No, she wasn't. Black t shirt, blue jeans. Okay. You see what you do? It was over her knee. That's the like You see what you do? <laughs> her shit was question. over her goddamn knee. Her her dress was over her damn knee. Answer the question. Answer the question, Robert. Um, I am answering the question, David. I go on to say, all what I'm asking is for my answer to come out the way I'm going to deliver it. If the little girl was dressed inappropriate. Or was it? It's going to sway my answer. The mother bringing these extra children down there, showing the younger of this 12-year-old, if they was younger than her, it's going to sway my answer. Yes, they was younger than her. All right. And she was now, dressed like now me. all what I'm asking is for a reason. Because you're doing all of this in front of around eight and seven year olders at home before you come out i'm pretty sure you probably had this conversation i'm going on about this little bitch in front of all of her friends and these little kids the reason why i say that because you got them thinking that this is a laughing and fun situation they're laughing making fun of this 12 year old girl where's her mental her mental's thinking her mother don't love her as much as the mother kids that's laughing at her because she brought them with her to clown her 12-year-old in front of them and the uh, outsiders of the family, which is the 12-year-old friends. Was those boys kissing and rubbing up on her daughter when she pulled up? We didn't see none of that. Was it doing anything yeah. appropriate for this mother to try to embarrass her daughter to the extreme that she did? Yes, I say take your kid off the street for reasons. But mother, you're calling your daughter whores, bitches. You're going to drag her, embarrass her in front of all these people. If the shoes was reversed and she was that 12-year-old little girl, 12-year-old little girl, she would think her mother talking to her in that way is very disrespectful, unloving, 
not even trying to find out why I'm down here. Maybe you're forcing me to these people in the street because I feel neglect of love at home. And you might love the other siblings a little bit more or you treat them better. You talk to them better. So when she pulled up on her daughter, she should have said just like this, even if she's been doing it for a while. I know I've been telling you I don't want you down here. I'm sick of repeating myself. You're going to either get in this car. You're going to either get in this car or I'm going to do, like I said, remove her off the streets. You're going to find yourself when this little girl turns 13, 14 years old, and I'm telling you it's what's going on because it's going on, her friends is just not going to be that quiet sitting by watching you clown their friend. You bulking up like you can take your daughter out. They're going to jump your ass as a parent. So come down there with different bang, energy. Bang. And Get listen, like that, uh, listen, come down there with different energy. Try to save uh, your relationship with your daughter, too. And if you can't do it in a grown-up way, because you was acting like a child, um, a hood rat, a disrespectful woman yourself, and you call in some people that's going to help the situation, like the best team, social workers. It might not always be the right Calling place. the best team on you. Yeah, I don't even care about that. It's not always going to be the right place for others, but what you're doing to your child, you're teaching her how to disrespect you even more. Every beating don't make a child scared of you. What it does is allow them to be able to withstand your pain that you think and you're inflicting upon them. So you're making them tough enough for the day that they try you. All right. Uh, ladies... Uh, I'm going to ask you to be brief or be brilliant. Um, let's go to Patsy first. Patsy, who was disrespectful in that video? What's your perspective? Um, I think they both were. But in that situation, it, it, that was between me and my mother. It wouldn't even even been a situation outside Cause she would have been like, look, y'all stay up in here and in the house. Don't y'all go outside until I come back or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Or if I call the house and tell you to come meet me somewhere, that's what she meant. Because we knew if she didn't, you know, there was consequences. We might have even got a popped in the face or something. But then the scenario would not have been outside unless we were outside ourselves and did not listen. Well, you know, so yeah, the child didn't listen, so she got cussed out. Well, I don't um, know if my mother would have cussed me out like that, but she would have cussed done some done some damage. <laughs> Gina? Oh, she would have cursed you out. Gina? Um... I'm sorry, I wasn't saying. Okay, relax. So who do you think was disrespectful in um, case? Um, I think they both was disrespectful, but I think that the mother was more disrespectful than the daughter. I think every time I hear a mother talk to a female, like it like a female that she don't know, she's talk, calling her bitches and hoes, it just makes me want to throw up. Because I feel like that's the ultimate disrespect, like when it comes to, you know, a mother and daughter relationship. When you start, yes, your daughter might be disrespectful. And it's one thing to cuss, cuss her, out, her out as far as like, who the hell you think you are? Da, 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 da. That's okay. I feel like that's okay. But once you start name calling and talking about, I'm going to drag you, her mother's clearly a hood rat. And hood rats will be hood rats. And that's probably why her daughter is out on a street corner hanging out with bo boys because it's learned behavior. She sees her mother talking this way, acting this way. Then she says something about four nine something, some gang related activity. I don't know. It was disgusting. Her mother's disgusting. And um, it's, it's, it's sad. The children, especially teens, I tried my mother, you know, as far as like, I didn't listen to her all the time. 
you know, I was a little bit rebellious and things like that. So, you know, that's to be expected with teenagers, you know, but you don't go out on a, sh- I, I never got this day and age when people, when people um try to embarrass their kid, like to the utmost, like they try, they do, they go on live and cut their hair or, you know, beat them or cuss them out or tell all their secrets on, on the internet or do, I never yeah, understood yeah. that. I see like, that because she cut all yeah. her daughter's hair off. Exactly. And, and it's crazy. disgusting. Um, There's one mother, she started saying that, yes. you know, her daughter didn't oh, um, clean her. No, I'm going to carry it out. I got a bag in my car. They're fucking up their kids' self-esteem. Yeah, that mother's just, built was... on the bad girls' club. Mm-hmm. Know Basically. You know what I'm saying? So it's, uh, uh, it's disgusting. Okay, I got to fix yeah. this. This is terrible. <laughs> All right, so, um, Gina, you finished? Yeah, I'm done. I'm good. Um, oh, Gina, she wasn't calling out a gang's name. She was saying she's four nine. She'll put that four nine on her ass because she's four nine. Four nine. What does yeah. what does that mean? She she got a gun. The mother, the mother, the mother. Oh, she's because she's threatening to shoot her daughter. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, Oh my God! So that's even worse. I thought she was talking about because she was four no, feet. No, she was short. No, she's four, four feet nine. nine. She was oh, four she's four nine. nine. Four feet nine. Oh, oh, okay. I'm like, what the? I don't so, know what she was saying. Let me just wait. We got, we got Kiana, Itama, and Tanya still that needs to respond. Kiana, you ready? Yeah, I guess so. All right. So, who was disrespectful in that in that video? Say it again. What was the question? Was disrespectful in that video. I can't hear you. <laughs> fucking idiot. Fucking revving up into it like a fucking moron. Excuse my language. Say that again. <laughs> was disrespectful in that situation. Was it disrespectful? Yes. Who was disrespectful? You seen the video? No, I told you I didn't see the video. Oh, okay. We, you didn't see we this video. video. Right, you didn't up. see the second video. You well, showed the second video? No, yes, I didn't no, see yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. No. For, yeah, for, for time, for time, we're gonna come back to you. We're gonna come back. To you. <coughs> you're, you're, you're driving. We'll come back to you. Eat oh, still with us. Yeah. Eat Hi. 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 Who, who, who did you perceive um to be disrespectful in that video? Both were disrespectful, but most of all, that mother, um, the way she sent out her message was not okay. Like, her calling her daughter all those names, that's not okay. Like, if it's coming from home and she's getting that disrespect already from mom, it's like she's pushing. She's the reason why we have a lot of females out here running wild the way they they run around. You know what I mean? Mothers like that push their daughters into the streets. You're not supposed to speak to your daughter like that. I don't care how mad you are. You should recollect yourself. You have it. it that's one of the things that the main thing is that we all have a choice. Yeah. And we have a choice. And, and the choice is that sometimes we have to slow down, breathe, and then take care of a situation. That yeah. was not cor- that was not correct. The way she she approached her daughter, that was not okay. What her daughter did was disrespectful because she wasn't where she was supposed to be. But the way she approached her daughter, that was just, no, that was disgusting. I didn't hear her once mention nothing about it. I'm telling your father. Nope. But that, are you done, Itama? Well, even if she, I want to say something about the father. I'm a, I'm a single, like, mom, and I raised my daughter. She's 21. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not saying that a father... It's not needed because yes, he is needed. You know what I'm saying? But that that should not be an excuse. You know what I mean? That's the problem now. We put up so many excuses. If we bring children to the world, we have to put in what we we gotta put it in. We gotta put in time and effort with everything. Time and effort, patience, love. You can get you get what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. We yes, and if the father is there, he shouldn't have that mentality either. So if the father is there, he shouldn't have that mentality either. It's going to be a bust. Okay. 
Um, but usually, hold on, Timmy. Hold on, Timmy, because we're hold on. Um, I really want to get to the next person. So hold on, hold that, hold that thought, please. Ethan, are you finished? Yes. All right, Tanya, you ready? Yes. All right, go ahead. Talk with that. They both was um, they both was wrong and disrespectful in in that scenario. The daughter was disrespectful for not listening to the mother and going out the house. But what I want to say on the daughter's behalf is that the mother is running her out the house because she had all those kids in the car and they looked younger. She told her not to go up the street probably because she wanted her in the house to watch those kids. Mm -hmm. And she's getting tired of watching those kids. Mm -hmm. And she came and approached her because she saw her in her. You get it. She, she saw her. Imagine what that little girl's telling her siblings about the mother. Go ahead, Tony. She she saw her a reflection of herself and her daughter, like because that's the, that probably was her behavior. She got a twelve year old. I, you can't you can't tell how old the mother is, but she doesn't look that old. You know what I'm saying? So she probably had she started having kids at a young age. And so in her mind, she's trying to prevent her daughter from doing that. But in, in reality, she's actually pushing her towards it. That's the way, that's why she reacted to her the way that she did, calling her out those names, bitch, or that kind of stuff, because that's what she got. She got that from her mother. She passing it on to the daughter. And that's how she see herself as, as a bitch and a whore. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm going to say this. And then we go to the to the next. But video. then, but then she she was just itching for her to make a move, jump, like she antagonized her. Like she when she went to go open it, don't open up my door like that, you know. So she was just antagonizing her to do something, so to make a reaction, so she can react towards her. Well, and what do more, what she should have set out to do from the well, video. What more, re, what more of a reaction did she need? Didn't she smack her already? Yeah. I mean, but, but you, I get what he's saying, though. He, She was antagonizing her daughter just to she, see if she was going to... Because the daughter was already embarrassed, so she was already probably livid, like um, Tanya said. She probably... Um, had the had the kids wanted her to watch the, all those kids, and the daughter got tired of it, so she just wanted to hang out with her friends. She probably wasn't being fast at all. She probably was just because she wasn't dressed inappropriately. She she probably she probably just wanted to be a kid and hang out with her friends like a teenager wants to do. And the mother said, "Oh, watch these kids," and and the the mother was antagonizing though. She right, was. So let, let me pause you guys all, and I'm going to give you my perspective. And Gregory, as I'm doing this, please get the last video ready. Um, I got right. you, player. All right, so here's what it is, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna advocate for the child because that's what I do. So I'm gonna tell you this. I listen, and one of the things I heard the mother said um, about holding her down and letting the other kids stomp her out. Yeah, I see, heard that see, too. See, see, yeah, yeah, see, yeah. See, that's disrespectful. You've done that before. I've seen and that shit go down too. And even to introduce that idea, um, or give I would like child, to clap for you, the, the child, the idea, very good. That, and that means that that you've done that before, and you got a day of reckoning coming, mom. I'm gonna tell you, all mothers that behave that way, you got a day of reckoning coming because you think that what you did out on that street, that child is going to forget it. It is not. She is not going to forget. She is going to, um, internalize that. And the day is going to come where she's going to allow that to be her motivation. And the same way you put hands on her, she's going to put hands on you. And she, they're going to, there's going to need, someone is going to need to remove her hands from you. Gregory, let's go to the next video. Disgusting. It says, do not provoke your child to anger. That's right. Go ahead, Gregory. Participants left for in 12 right for in. Keep doing my life. I didn't even. No, all this oh fucking weed God, smoking. Bro. It was not right. Jenny, you ain't got nothing we to do. We didn't even smoke no weed in the grass. No, like, like that. Just shut the oh, fuck up. Like, you know no. You got oh, the street. You don't deserve the street. My nigga, like, no. You keep messing with me. I ain't doing nothing to you. Shut the fuck up. Do you want to see something? My nigga, what are you mad at? What are you mad at me for? What are you mad at me for? You can't go ahead with an attitude for what, nigga? Nobody said nothing to you. I'm your mother. You ain't even. Let's get it up. Let's get it up. Let's get it up. Oh my God. 
Okay, pause. I'm I'm meeting. I'm gonna tell you something before any before I go to anybody else. I just want everybody to be brief or be brilliant. Kiana, did you see that video? No, she just joined us. Okay. I saw most of it until I guess she she walked the daughter out of the room or behind her. I didn't see what yeah. else happened before I got kicked out. Okay, so all right, you you seen you seen you got the gist of it. So I'm gonna say this before I go to anybody. Um, let me tell you right now, there is no question that mother's behavior was disrespectful. And the name of the show is Why Are Women So Disrespectful? Where do, um, who raised them? That's the answer right there. That scenario right there. You go from that, the last video we saw, the little girl being um, disrespected on the streets, embarrassed on the streets. This is what becomes of that little girl, that 12 year old girl. She becomes that girl that becomes confrontational with her mother. That little girl has no respect for her mother. She's totally disrespectful and her mom is disrespectful. The whole situation is disrespectful. Um, and then you you both shouting out things about y'all's private life online so everybody else knows and stuff like that. It's it's disgusting. It's disrespectful. And if that is what the world has to offer, whereas women are concerned, we in trouble. Because the one that is, is raising her is broken. She's disrespectful. The one that's um the young girl, she's broken. And she's disrespectful. So you know what's going to happen. If they do not break the cycle, if some discipline is not implemented right now, that little girl is going to become a disrespectful woman and she's going to have a child. And if she has a daughter, she's going to treat her daughter the same way her mama treat her. And I'm telling y'all right now, that situation is, is deadly. That is deadly. That is going to be a very tragic ending. But um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get the feet, and the guys I need you to be brief. We're way past our time. Um Kiana, just give me your, your closing remarks. I mean, just tell me how you feel about that situation. And just again, I'm gonna ask you the question: why are women so disrespectful? Who raised them? Well, that situation was. I mean, I guess the daughter is used to being talked like that. So she was already given mouth from the giddy up, which raised the ante on the mother's attitude and mouth. So, I mean, who's disrespectful? Again, this is not all women. So I don't like these these blanket uh -huh. statements. No, listen to um, me, beloved. Listen to me. In this scenario, and this scenario, keep it to this, not is, okay. is, just keep it to this. Go ahead. Yeah, this scenario, the, the mother was disrespectful, and I'm pretty sure, I mean, and she's raising a disrespectful daughter. So the cycle will continue unless the girl deviates from this cycle. And but I don't know who raised that woman. That's a good question. It'll be a father who raised that woman. Mm. Mm. Okay. Do you and let me ask you this. Do you have any um she like have all them hold on Timmy? Hold on Timmy. Timmy, I'm gonna come to you. Um Kiana, do you have any advice for the women in the world? I mean, um, where you know uh they're being labeled as being disrespectful. What can they do different to shed that um that 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 skin that label. I mean, people are gonna want to label. Nobody has any real good things to say about black women. So, um, if they're gonna use that as, as a label to say that we're disrespectful because any number of criteria, um. We can't do anything. I mean, I feel like we need to do. There's a lot of people who want to be their kids' parent. I mean, friends instead of their parent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a lot of people who are raised who are raising babies and their babies themselves. So how can you raise an um 
raise a person when you don't know how to even be an adult yourself. So there's a lot of scenarios. What can women do? I mean, if you really want to be, if you're really searching to be a good parent, I'll pause that because I know you can hear it. If you really um, want to be a good parent, you have to do the work and model somebody who you want to be after. But I mean, if you want to maintain a nasty attitude in a nasty household, then continue down the road that you're, con you're the path that you're going down. But it's not a good path and it, it's not a good look. Well said, Jules. Uh, Timmy? Yeah, I, I, the little girl, it seems like the mother has a problem. And she thinks of more of herself than the, the, the kid. She's more about her own happiness. Because that's, this is, you know, when parents do think of themselves instead of think of their kids, put their, their uh, happiness, their needs before their kids, you know, the kids reject that. And they, you know, they see you doing it on frequently. Then when they get to the point where they feel like they have to say something or they get the courage to say, you know, you're not going to like it because you actually been doing stuff around them, putting stuff in front of them that they shouldn't even know. And so that's just why they she got that problem where she's telling her about her sleeping with different women and whatnot. Hmm. Okay. Um, Patsy. Um, I just believe like if you wanna oh uh, first of all, like they they were both disrespectful towards each other and you know, in case scenario, not all families are like that, but, you know, there's a way to handle it, and you can do things differently. But as far as, like, trying to change the scenario, like, having uh, that stereotype, like, why people's women so disrespectful, mm -hmm. you might not be able to change the perspective of what people think, but you can change the way you behave by trying to get the help to figure out why you, you do what you do, why you're so angry, get um, counseling and try to, you know, work stuff out and whether you just have counseling one-on-one -on -one with, with someone have your child in counseling so they can figure out, you know, to kind of get past what they've been doing and then have, like, a parent-child counseling session so y'all can have, like, work on your communication with each other so you can work your situation out or just be open to listening to each other so you can... Both of you cannot be so angry and disrespectful towards each other and and to be able to set bound healthy boundaries. Okay. Well regardless said. of who you are. Well said. And Patsy answered the second question as well. Um uh thank you, Patsy. Uh, I'm gonna go to Gregory next. Uh Gregory. How do you feel about that video and what advice would you give to um women to change how they're being uh depicted? Um, um I think this is what I said earlier. Um this is what happens when you remove ass whoopings from the household. <laughs> and I don't think this was this woman's fault. I think it, um excuse me if I heard their conversation wrong because all I was hearing her saying is, you got to go. You got to get out. But through all their raw raw, but I couldn't really hear what they were saying because it just sounded like a bunch of yelling. She asked her about smoking in the house. Well, that was the daughter. Once again, this is why I was saying, I think the daughter was being real. First of all, her room is cluttered. 
The mother comes in there. She's talking about we didn't even smoke in the house, bro. Who's your bro? What are you what are you doing? Come on. You're being totally nah. disrespectful. You're being you're being totally disrespectful. So you your mother has the right to be like, you gotta get out my house. I don't think that mother was wrong in that situation. It was a lot going on with that little girl. I don't know what happened beforehand, but I'm telling you what I just watched. You got this disrespectful little girl in in that in a dirty room on live. <laughs> this is what happens when you remove the whoopings from the household. You, she's on her live thinking she can disrespect her mother in her dirty ass room. Little girl, you need to pick up your dirty room. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to Tanya next. Yeah. Was disrespectful? Yeah, and uh, what would you uh, advise? Advice, okay. Like, um, I'm going to piggyback off of what Gregory said. Look, she was disrespectful. Um, but I'm going to say she was disrespectful about um, being on live and talking to her mother like that. I, I don't know if her, if she smokes with her mother or did the mother come and tell her she can't smoke in the house? If, that's the, if yeah. that's the case, she told then she... She was disrespectful by smoking in the house. She should have went outside and smoked if that's the thing. But then for her to talk to her mother that way and the mother be telling her she got to go and her, because she's on live, she, she talking to her mother all crazy and start throwing her mother's business out there talking about how much the cable bill is and that she eat panani all day. You yeah. know, that was, that was disrespectful in itself. Um, and she was being disrespectful to herself just by the way she was living, her, her behavior. Um, and what I'm gonna what I'm gonna say about what people need, what they they can do to do some self reflecting. These are three these three questions. Well, there's a series of questions that I asked two of my daughters. So I'm gonna ask the third one the same thing. Like, where will you? Where are you now? Where were you 10 years ago? And what has happened in your life? Mentally, spiritually, mentally, spiritually, financially, emotionally. Do some self-evaluating on those on those aspects and see where you were 10 from 10 years ago to now. What has changed? And was God was God evident in any of those decisions that put you down the right path or the wrong path? I like that. Well said. Robert. You got to turn your mic on. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say this about that video. We don't know how this household lived day to day. We only can assume we know by watching that little clip. Based on what I've seen, or maybe should I say heard the most, I'm going to state my opinion. It goes like this. The mother, in my eyes, had reduced herself down to her daughter's level. Either she indulged in a little bit of marijuana with the kids, and then when she wanted to do the the motherly thing and say no smoking in the house. The kids get mad, they smoke outside. Moms come in assuming because the kids are high, they smoked in the house today. She clears day, told mother, um, the mother came and said, such, 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 about to get high. Such, such. She said, we didn't smoke in here. Meaning we got high, but we didn't smoke in your house today. Uh -huh. Right. Now the mother, because she's already mad, the little girl told her, you already came in here with an attitude. Right. They know their mother's attitude and her energy because mm -hmm. they live with her. So when right. the mother came in on some rah-rah stuff, she don't had a conversation with her sex partner probably or something went wrong at work. Let's take the sex partner the little girl want to bring up. You don't do nothing. You just eat panani all day. The mother's rebuttal to that was, she said, you don't do nothing for me. She said, well, you got shelter. That tells me clear as day, you're not paying no attention to your daughter or daughters. 
or children. Her, her, her it tells me needs. that your ass is in the bedroom focusing on your company, mm -hmm. eating like the daughter her said. Now, now, you're letting bills slip one mm -hmm. way or the other. Are you giving it to your spouse you're eating out all the time or you're drinking and smoking it up in the room with your company? You're mad at your daughters and them because they are vocal and they're speaking out that they're tired of seeing you do the same thing with somebody laying up, eating them out, and you ain't paying the bills, neglecting them. Now, they're losing the, the um, amenities of having cable, probably not getting a good plate of food or a different right. plate every day. So mm -hmm. there's mad things that we're not taking into consideration that the little girl's crying out, but she's doing it in the wrong way. Because at the same time, she's trying to balance her mother because she's hurting. And she's hoping by her putting her mother out there, things may change. But there's a way of dealing with that. Um, You sit down. We have done this. I mean, I brought it to my family. You have a meeting. And you tell what you dislike about each other in the house first. Everyone goes around, take a turn. This is what I dislike about you. Now we're going to end it with what I like about you. That way you're ending it with something nice. But you are putting out there in the atmosphere, this is a problem. This is my dislike. This is what we need to work on. We don't need to work on my life. We need to work on the dislikes. That being said, women, if you do not want to be labeled as a disrespectful adult lady or woman. Don't take in the bad from any other women or men. I don't care what relationship relations they are to you. Just disregard their disrespectful, negative comments or ways. Embrace the good because the good will carry you far. Learn how to be respectful so you can have respect for others. Learn how to kill people with kindness when you want to say the most nastiest things out your mouth, turn it into kind words and leave it at that. Um, I got to say, don't entertain the silly. You won't be a part of the silly. And another thing, I'll leave you with this. If you can't find comfort or learn respect from those who you are around, go take some etiquette classes and make yourself uh, a respectful lady. All right, well said. Gina, still with us? Uh, yeah, I think that the daughter, I didn't really hear too much of what the, what the mom said. I was saying, I was, I think I was hearing about the daughter. I think Gregory, I'm on the same page with Gregory. I don't know who was saying what, but, um, the daughter, tell it seems like what the, they were saying. Why, 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 what why, they why, were why, saying, why. right. So the mom, the mom, it seems like she has, she tries to be her daughter's friend in my eyes. I think she, mm -hmm. um, is, is she doesn't, she doesn't carry the, the mother role or the adult role in the house, you know, so it gives her, op her daughter the opportunity to even question what she's doing with her money or what she's doing in her bedroom, because she would have been out my house. I love you, but you got to go. One thing about my mother, you're, you're not going to disrespect my house. So either you check yourself or you can leave. Um, the little girl would have been out my house, period. Um, I think they were both disrespectful, but I think the daughter was way more disrespectful because she was on live um, talking about her mother the way she was talking about her mother. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, do? Yeah, I remember that show. I went already. I was the first one. All right. So you, um, all right, Sean. <coughs> Sean's on pause. Sean, you gotta take your phone off of um, mute. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um. I'm going to say this real quick. 
Um, before anyone was disrespectful, this started off as dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. And um, and so being that it was dysfunctional, that, that whole scenario played out exactly how it was supposed to. That 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 mother treats that young lady like she's her equal, although she's screaming, "I'm your mother, I'm your mother." What mm -hmm. does that mean? Right. That's it. Yeah. Right. I hate I hate when they do that because Timmy. You you already know that you've been treating her like a friend, and like someone said, now you want to play mother the motherly role, and she's like, nah, we've been friends. Let's keep doing this friendship. The fuck that mother shit. That don't mean nothing. You know, I like the friendship better. Right. I, you, you as a mother, I, I don't, I don't respect you as a mother, but you as a friend playing that friend role, I like that better, you know. Right. So then she gets mad because she wants to put her foot down, but you already started opening up her can and shit that you wasn't ready for. And I tell people all the time, uh, don't create a problem and then complain about the problems that you've done creating. All right, stand on that. Itama, you still with us? I am, but um, you guys pretty much covered. So you, you know, got any advice for- No comment. You got any advice for these um, so women can uh, work on self so they won't be uh, depicted as being disrespectful? God first, pray. Okay. All right. So you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and close out the show. So I'm going to say this where the women is concerned. Um, the question that was presented was, why are women so disrespectful? Who raised them? Uh, I'm, hold on. One second. I'm sorry. Bert, are you still with us? No, nah, he ain't with us. All right. So again, I, I digress. Um, the question presented was, why are women so disrespectful who raised them? So I'm going to say that's part of the problem. The women of today are disrespectful because the women of yesterday and the past are the ones that provided them with uh, that tutelage. So if grandma is disrespectful to her daughter, then her daughter is going to do that to the granddaughter. If grandma is not around to offer advice and guidance um, to her daughter, then she can't do it in turn on um, an extension for her, her granddaughter. And if <coughs> the father is missing from the situation altogether, that's a big part of it too because then the child does not have no male representation of the little girl. So in each situation, that girl doesn't um, really truly know what's pleasing, whereas a man is concerned how the man would perceive um, what is uh, disrespectful. And I think they need his perspective um, as well. So if a father um, is not present, if uh, you know good male representation could step in, that could um, make the difference. But ladies, it's not your job to be your child's friend. It's your job to be your child's uh, parent. And again, I say this all the time, as when I refer to myself as being the first example of what a man is supposed to be, where my children are concerned, that is the same for you women. You are the young ladies, the little girls, first example of what a woman is supposed to be. So if you are presenting any level of disrespect, then that is how we get to the world being filled with disrespectful um, women. Because you, as their example, as their teacher, was disrespectful first. 
So the answer to that question, why are women are, um, so disrespectful who raised them, it's, it's, it's the women around them. You guys presented this to them first. So you need to work on yourself so that you can extension um, be a better example to the younger generation. And that's it. Good night, guys. Thank you for coming. See you next okay. week. Bye.